I just got a tip from my local lug discord that there are some amazing pick brick parts at a Lego store here in Toronto right now. Apparently, they just put these parts on the wall. Somebody in our discord sent some pictures of all the parts that are there and they look really cool. I just called the Lego store and I confirmed that they still have some of the parts in stock. It's about a 30 minute drive for me and I'm literally, I'm going to drop everything I'm doing right now and head there right away because I'm going to try and snag some of those pick brick parts and I figured I'd bring you guys along with me for the ride. All right, you guys, so I made it to the Lego store here. I'm about to go inside and hope that they still have the pick brick cup parts that they said they did. I watched Emma Soros' vlog a few days ago and I know her Lego store had a ton of the parts, so I'm hoping this one will as well. I've only been to this Lego store like once or twice, so I have absolutely no idea where I'm going. I hope this is close to it. And look at that, there's the Lego logo, so hopefully I chose the right door. It's only been about 40 minutes since I called the Lego store, so I am hoping that they still have the parts they said they did. All right, here we go. Woo, here we go guys, I can already tell from a distance this pick brick wall is stacked. Yeah, this wall is amazing. Let me give you a tour and show you some of what I'll be picking up. Alright, so for starters, they have these 1x2 black plates, which are always really good, and then they've got 1x1 in tan. They've got these 1x2 profile bricks, just some regular boring plates. Down here, they've actually got the Lego slides, which is one that I don't even know why I want these, but I want to pick up a few up because they look really, really cool. Good luck getting this in a pap cup, though. They've also got these supports, which, again, are really cool, but will be hard to put in a cup. They've got some regular bricks and plates down here. Nothing really crazy exciting. A bunch of these Lego archways, which I would have done my city in the gray if they would have had those. Uh, really cool of the flesh plates uh, colors they've got a section here where you can build some lego cars so they've got like the axles and the wheels and some two by two slope bricks that transparent we've got some pink bricks there we've got the cheese slopes in black right there really excited about these one by one flowers in red they look really sick they've got these plates with studs on the side which also look really cool not sure what i'd use them for but they've got some regular plates down here again they've got some slopes these bricks are really cool these are like a one by one one by two with the detail on them we've got some more two by two slopes and some two by three bricks then we've got some more vehicle parts and the wheels and stuff like that some control panels then they've got these really cool pieces which i don't exactly know their name but then they've also got some half circles there and just some regular blue bricks they've got the arches down here as well in the teal color which is awesome some more bricks they've got these half doors which i think are awesome except i wish they had the frames to go with them uh then they've got these rod pieces again not sure their names domes in a couple different colors and then there's a bunch of the leaf pieces here in dark green which is absolutely amazing we'll be picking up some of them we've got some olive two by two plates that are uh, curved really neat there just some lavender bricks there as well more dome pieces up here which are cool uh then we even got some purple pieces some one by one like this turquoise dots color this really light blue which is really cool and then some of these one by one plates with the stud on the side as well we've got some two by four plates and then we got these really cool decor pieces We've got like more of the teeth plates that I want to call them in tan and then we've got some one by two bricks in lime. These ones here were actually masonry bricks but I've got them all in cups already. And then down here some more plates and then we've actually got these light post pieces which are awesome. I'm really excited because they have these one by one studs here with the stud in the center which are always really good. The little hole there way up top. They've also got these one by one like circle tile pieces which are cool. One by four in dark translucent blue which is like a pretty rare color they were debating in the lug and then these are mini figureheads but in transparent yellow which i didn't even know they made we've got like these spider web bricks which are different color cool there and then some one by three in the light yellow we've also got the one by four by three window frames in teal which is really cool a bunch of white tiles one by eights down here we've got the little ugly rock pieces as well as these really cool transparent rods so i'm over here filling my cups with the masonry bricks as you guys can see I'm about halfway done each cup. I've been using these steps to bake them. When I got here, the very first thing I did was fill two picker brick cups, one of each color of the masonry bricks, because that's all I was allowed to take from the wall. And as you guys can see, I have been spending the last 30 minutes or so packing them together. I've already gone through half the masonry bricks and the cups aren't even half finished. In case you guys are wondering, this is proof that that method works. I just emptied a full pick a brick cup worth of masonry bricks that were just loosely thrown in there into this cup here. And you guys can see, I still have four different layers left to do and honestly I could probably fit a fifth one in. So I've actually cleared the store out of their masonry bricks. You guys can see these bins are completely empty now, but I still have a little room. So I'm just going to use some of these other one by two bricks just to finish it off. It's not masonry bricks, but hey, they're pretty cool and better than nothing. All right, so I've been over here the last few minutes just 
filling pick a brick cups. I have kind of ditched my stacking method and I've just been filling them here. Right now I am up to seven pick a brick cups are filled. You know, I've got a bunch of different perks, all that I showed you from the wall. I tried to fit in as many cool ones as I could. Unfortunately, I didn't get any of the lurk pieces. You guys can see them left over on the side here, but I did get a bunch of other perks and I'm quite happy with these pick a brick cups and I think I'm going to cap it off at seven. There, I've got them all taped up here. The Lego store employee tried to tell me that I wasn't allowed to leave the lids off, but it works. Guys, this wall was absolutely incredible. It's been a long time since I've been to a pick a brick wall that was this good, and apparently they're getting another shipment a little bit later this week, so we'll have to see if I make it back here. All right, you guys left the Lego store now. I've got my bag here. I ended up getting a few other things in this haul that I'll have to show you when I get home. Once again, back in the car, these sets go. Very cool. All right, you guys, I had just spent like two hours this evening in the Lego store packing those pick a brick cups. Very, very happy with what I got. This is, I never, I wasn't gonna tell the story, but I'm gonna now. So I wasn't having the best time at that Lego store. This is not the one I normally go to. The employees are just a little bit different. It seemed like everybody who was working there is just working there for a job. Like they don't seem like they're genuinely passionate about Lego, which is fine. You don't need to be to work at the store. One employee in particular was a little bit, I don't want to say a jerk, but he was just a little bit didn't want to be there. I heard him drop the F word a few times, not when any customers were around. It was like just me, but I thought still at the same time, that's kind of weird for the Lego store. And then he tried to tell me that I wasn't able to put, like I wasn't able to overfill the pick a brick cups, which you've always been able to do as long as it's not crazy. Like if the lid's not perfectly on, you have to tape it a little on one side to keep it down. Like I never cared when I worked there. I know the Lego store employees don't care. He saw one of my cups doing that and he's like, no, it has to be fully sealed the whole way. And I was like, okay. So I was like, mm, not the best experience at the Lego store. But then, then he really redeemed himself. As I was leaving, my, to my bill was about $150 or so I thought. He, I didn't even do the math. I was buying seven cups and like uh, some BAM parts. And he was like, hey, if you spend 40 extra dollars, you can get the free gift of purchases. And I was like, oh yeah, cool. So I threw in four more of the brick sketches that are on sale for 12 bucks. I was like, hey, that's another like 50 bucks. Get those two gift purchases. So then I'm like, awesome. I pay my card. My bill's like 230, whatever. I leave the store. I glance up and I'm like, hmm, I don't remember the gift of purchases being that low of a threshold. I thought it was really high. I glance up at the sign and the threshold is 270 for the gift of purchase. And he told me it was 190 and gave me the gift of purchases. So I feel like he messed up a little, you know, maybe because he realized he was kind of a jerk while I was in there. I don't really know, but I'm going to, Hey, I'm going to take that free gift of purchases and I'm going to run. I booked it out of that mall afterward. Originally I was going to leave a kind of a negative review at the store just because I feel like some of those things that I mentioned to you guys, are just for the lack of professionalism, not wanting to be there. And especially like the swear words was just something that the store management should kind of know because if I wasn't, you know, I'm a former Lego employee. I don't care. Like it's not, I'm not going to be Oh my God, Lego's the worst brand, but still as like a customer, I'd be like, that is, uh, why would I bring my kids here? If that's the way you're going to act and why would I buy it? If that's the way you're going to act. So I was thinking about leaving a negative survey response. But then after that last interaction and the guy blessed me with those gift of purchases, I'm not going to leave him a negative response. I'm honestly probably not going to fill out the survey because I don't want to lie and say it was a great experience. But he, he blessed me. He really, you know, if the question is, can you be bought off with Lego? Absolutely is the answer. Like apparently treat me badly, but give me some free Lego. You're getting away with it. You're good to go. So, but interesting experience overall. All right, so let's recap what I just picked up from my time at the Lego store. So like I mentioned, for starters, I did get the gift with purchase, which is the Bionicle, Tahu, and Tech, whatever it's called. I don't know their names. That one's really exciting. Also got the Blacktron set, which is really cool. The Blacktron Cruiser from earlier this year. Like I've got one built there. It's a, it is a really good set, so I'm excited to have gotten that one. I also did pick up these Iron Man brick sketches here. These are only $11.99. Pretty good deal. Really good product value on those. So I picked up the only four that they they had left i'll put those in my bricklink store which will be good as another gift of purchase this one i was supposed to get this one here is the fun and funky vip add-on with 148 free pieces really cool parts in there including a lego pig which is really awesome i think just one pig but still very very cool excited about that also picked up a build a minifigure container with a bunch of minifigure parts. I was afraid that that one Lego store employee was going to try and count how many pieces are in it. I'm not saying I put more than 15, but I was afraid he was definitely going to try and count. And then finally, the last gift of purchase, which is one that I was not expecting to get, was this VIP keychain. Apparently, they're just giving them to everybody at that Lego store that makes a free, anyone who makes a purchase and they're a VIP member. So I actually am getting two of these from two different Lego shop at home orders that I placed because I got three coupon codes when the VIP center redeemed them. 
them. So I'll have a few keychains there, which is really exciting. And then of course I did pick up seven pick a brick cups. Like I already mentioned, I kind of showed you guys in store me filling up those pick a brick cups a little, but you guys can see um, great, great pieces there. And I'll probably have to make a full video unboxing all these so I can show you all the cool things that I got. And with that, overall, a very successful trip to the LEGO store. I'm really glad that I was following the Discord at my local lug and saw that they had some really cool parts there. And I'm glad that I made my way over this evening to the LEGO store to pick up some of them because I don't know what I want to build with any of those parts, but I know I do want to make some buildings and stuff like that, stuff for the city. So I'm very, very happy that I went. Of course, you guys, don't forget to check out your local LEGO store because the pick-a-brick section right now is amazing. And it depends on the LEGO store, but they're getting new shipments in every week, so you guys are not going to want to miss it. Anyway, thanks again so much for watching today's video. If you did enjoy it, don't forget to leave a like, comment, and of course, subscribe. Subscribe, and I'll see you here in the next video.